Farrells again with another instructional video. Uh, today we wanted to show you uh, how to cut one of our brand Q belts. This is a really popular belt that we're selling uh, at our store. Uh, it's a ratchet belt, so rather than holes, you have a ratchet system which goes in quarter inch increments rather than a full inch. So it's really nice because you're not in between holes. Um, you can adjust it back and forth. Uh, throughout the day or over time if your leather stretches out a little bit and so it just ratchets in and it has a release button here on the bottom to release it uh, so it's just really nice and really convenient um, you're not wearing out your holes as fast so the belts tend to last a little bit longer but these belts come to us uh, one size fits all so you have to cut the belt to whatever length you're going to need it at so we wanted to show you how to do that um, what we use to cut it is just a, a box cutting knife with a sharp blade. It cuts right through the leather pretty good. Um, these belts have a pretty good clasp on them. So um, you, we use a pocket knife just to get in under the clasp and pry that up. You can see it's got some, it's got some pretty big teeth on it. So they tend to stick into the leather. Uh, pretty good and it's kind of hard to get that clasp undone sometimes. So then what you want to do is just take the belt, um, measure it around your waist or if you know what size belt you normally wear then you can just use a yardstick to measure out the length that you're going to want the belt. Make sure when you're measuring it you account for um, you know about three inches which is the length of the buckle and make sure you leave yourself enough room that when you've got it buckled you're going to be you know somewhere in the middle of this ratchet system here on this end so uh, you can use the art stick to measure that out or a lot of times what we do is if somebody's got a belt that they already wear um, that the length is good for them on it we'll just take that belt out uh, lay it down next to it and just kind of go off of that length uh, for the measurement so I'm just gonna make a little line on there. And then I've just got a little piece of wood down here so we don't scratch the table. And I'm just going to try to keep this as straight as I can and just do a couple of passes with the blade. It should cut right through the leather. And then all you've got to do is just stick it in here. Make sure you've got the right side facing out. And just clamp that back in. Sometimes these are a little hard to get clamped and get those teeth to sink into the leather so you just have to press them down there and it'll sink the teeth in and you're all set to go